What is up, you guys? This right here is actually a statue from the Haunted Mansion that Walt Disney himself delivered to the Louvre. What is up, you guys? Cam Travels here. Day two in Paris, last day of the trip. Can I, can I have my camera back, please? Uh, who are you? I'm Cam, who are you? Okay. An imposter. But what is up everyone, we are back here in Paris, day two. Today we are going to check out the Louvre and then just go sightseeing around the city. But uh, we already got our tickets and we're right here. Let's head inside. All right, we have now made it inside of the Louvre here in Paris. But first we're heading over here to the little desk over here because you can get little maps that show you where everything is. So that way it makes it easier for you to navigate because this place is absolutely massive and there is tons to see. All right, we are now in and going to go check out some of the art. I think our first destination is we're going to go up the stairs and check out the Mona Lisa. If you do plan to go to the Louvre in Paris, I will give you this one tip. Definitely plan out what you want to see before you head in because like I said earlier, this place is absolutely massive and there's tons of artwork to see and you can definitely spend a whole day in here just exploring everything. So we have finally made it over here to the Mona Lisa and if this is the first time you have seen the Mona Lisa, yes it is very very tiny. We also decided to stand over here off to the side to get a good view of the Mona Lisa because we did not want to enter this massive line and wait like probably 45 minutes to get a picture right in front of the Mona Lisa. We just thought we would stand over here to the side, that way we didn't have to wait in this massive line. What is up you guys? This right here is actually a statue from the Haunted Mansion that Walt Disney himself delivered to the Louvre. Oh. It appears that the student has mastered the teacher. Times are sad these days. I wish I had my walking stick to give her. With great power comes great responsibility. One day. I hope to pass this down to Cam's travels. Where did you find this? He is not there yet. Where did you find this? Now that young son, there's a master secret. Well, I'd like a moment of silence, or actually just a moment of truth. Leaving the stick here, someone who's worthy may grab it. Hopefully it'll be like Chris Evans or something. Um, I'm hoping, I don't know. Um, Chris, if you see this, and grab the stick. You can check out my walking stick in Cam's video from the castle in Germany link in the description so after walking around the louvre for about three and a half to four hours checking out all of the different artwork we are now making our way out but first i want to show you guys one of my favorite areas here in the louvre it is this little atrium area with the glass ceiling and all the different statues it is just so beautiful and like i said one of my favorite areas if you are coming to the louvre this is definitely one of those places that you have to check out if you all are enjoying our day two here in Paris, France, make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel a lot. We have now made it to the Notre Dame. Now, obviously, it is under construction. And for those of you who do not know, a couple of years ago, the Notre Dame actually caught on fire. So no one has been allowed inside for many, many years because they are still doing construction and building it back up. Obviously, do not know the time of date when it is going to be open again to the public, but it was cool to come up and check out the Notre Dame. And for all you Chipotle fans, don't worry, they do have a Chipotle here in Paris, France. So before heading to the catacombs, we're actually going to relax here in the Luxembourg Gardens, which it tends to be where a lot of people actually come here and relax, have picnics, um, go out and drink with their friends, and just relax here in this beautiful area. As you can see, we're just kind of sitting here, chilling out, um, relaxing before we head to the catacombs because we have done a ton 
of walking today but if you guys want to check out a really peaceful and relaxing place definitely come and check out the Luxembourg Gardens. So after the Luxembourg Gardens Emily and I are now heading to the catacombs we have a 330 reservation it was only 13 euros each so not too bad we're gonna go downstairs see what it's all about check it out it's definitely gonna be very creepy very creepy vibes down there in the catacombs um, but we're not all we're not really sure how long it takes we could be in there for 10 minutes we can be in there for two hours um, obviously we'll show you guys but it's been a great day so far so much sightseeing so many cool things that we have seen and then we're, and then tonight we're going to a restaurant that serves all you can eat steak and all you can eat fries which is gonna be a lot of fun and then potentially we might be going to a rooftop bar that overlooks the Eiffel Tower. And like a majority of places here in Paris, you do have to show them your vaccine pass. Uh, we took a picture of our vaccine pass so it was easier to access. Uh, I'm not going to show you the right side because that's all my personal information. Um, but over here on the left side is just your, your certificate to show that you had a vaccine. Stairs. I wonder how like, dark it is down there. I mean, it's probably pretty wet up there. We're down there, I should say. Make sure there's always people in the front. No funny business in here. It looks like we made it to the bottom. A bunch of like, you know, history about the catacombs is down here. It's pretty cool. This is gonna be creepy. You definitely cannot be tall in here. claustrophobic this is definitely something i would not recommend it's very tight and very small down here um, and uh yeah uh, it looks like we're getting closer to like the little skeleton room looks like we got a little display here of some bones we need france and uk because only you two have and here we are everyone This is very creepy and uh, insane. All these bones and skulls and very creepy. finishing up here in the catacombs how you feeling um it's really creepy like extremely creepy um but it's okay <laughs> ready to leave yeah i just couldn't do the audio thing there's no way you could catch me in here longer than 10 minutes <laughs> now they do offer an audio tour where you get your headset at the front entrance of the catacombs but this does take about an hour or so to do the full tour catacombs i survived the catacombs I need a shirt that says that. Bro, is your gift shop? <laughs> we can go see after we climb these like 200 stairs. Going up the stairs is way worse than going down. Um, that was pretty cool. As much as as creepy as that was, seeing those skeletons and bones just kind of laying there, uh, it was very cool to see and like you know the history of the catacombs. I don't know much of the history, obviously. Um, no, we skipped to the history park. We skipped to the history park because we just wanted to go see them. Uh, but it was cool to see. And if you aren't easily afraid or easily scared and you don't and you're not claustrophobic go see it it's cool hey, but it, it is of those things when I survived. yeah emily was scared claustrophobic and she she still did it um but it was very cool to see oh running out of breath after all these stairs oh my lord it's a killer leg day oh my god like i got like, they need like a bar like halfway through these stairs so you can relax and get a drink and they keep walking come on French. You need like put a bar, right? Like, break this wall and put a bar. Oh, but yeah, uh, it was cool to see. And uh, oh, there's an end. Okay, thank God. But yeah, it was cool to see. Ooh, now I gotta catch my breath. What is up, you guys? Camp travels here. Just kidding. It's me. Um, 
we are at this place called Encote, something like that. And it is all you can eat steak and fries. There is no menu. You walk in, they ask you how you want your steak cooked, and then they just bring you steak and fries until you say stop. Pretty cool. And they write it down right here, like medium and champagne. You ready? Let's see how much Cam will eat. Cam, you excited for the steak? Very excited. Didn't eat much of the salad, got to save room for the steak. What do you guys think about the steak? I'm excited. No one has it yet. I don't know what to say yet because it's yet. not here. There's no steak, Wait Pedro. What do you mean? How do we feel about the steak when there's no steak? You're not very good at this. <laughs> Alright, Pedro, now the One bite, steak. everybody knows the rules. Now the steak is here, you can give your review. Like a pesto sauce. Got a little flop going on. Just kidding, no flop, it's just steak. Alright, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Nine seven, and that's my highest seven. rating of the trip. Nine seven. Nine, nine seven. 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 That's a good steak. That's you are okay, All right. Cheers. I can see if I am the Oh god, you all love it. Oh my god. Ratings? It's, it's good. Nine five. Nine five, yeah. Nine. Oh, I'm gonna open. Oh my god. <laughs> this is all you can eat, by the way. Bon appetit. Okay, like six four. I'm just kidding. What? Nine three, nine three. Very good steak. This is a life hack. It's not only here, you can do it really anywhere, but you get a piece of bread like this. Get a piece of steak like this. Oh, you fold it right there. I already know this is gonna be so. so good. Dude. That was my mistake for the night. We said that we each had a mistake for the night. Yeah, both of you are champagne. All right, I'm gonna go here. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Even better. Travels review of the steak sandwich. Here we go. No steak action. Oh, wow. Uh, looks unreal. Oh, wow. Chef's kiss. What do you guys think of the restaurant so far? So good. I think it's my new favorite restaurant. Yeah. If you're a follower of Cam's you Travels, you have to come here. Yeah. Will you let them know the code CAM15 at the door? Oh my god. <laughs> like, uh... Say 15% CAM15 at the door. Guys, we messed up. We were lied to. It is not unlimited steak and fries. It is uh, two servings of steak and fries. So we finished our first serving and asked for more. She brought kind of like a half serving. It wasn't even a full second serving. And we went out to ask for our third, and she's like, nope, sorry, we served you twice, and you're out. It was all a lie. I, I can't handle it. Would you come back then? Still come back. This place was awesome. The food was really good. And for the price, two servings of second fries, really good. Yes, and remember, can. if you say Camp 15 at the door, you get 15% off. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. Last night in Paris. Tomorrow, we got to fly back home to the States. So tonight, we're going to stay out. We're going to watch the Eiffel Tower flicker at midnight. This is only the beginning. Stay tuned. Remember to use Camp 15 at every restaurant in Paris. Oh, don't forget, 2024, Tokyo. 2023. I got a confession, YouTube. I'm going to be straight with you guys. Earlier I was walking with my phone in my hand. You know, since a young age, you're thought not to drive and text. I was walking and texting. I ran into a pole. There's no easy way to say this. I walked straight into a light pole. My phone went flying, and this was the result. So use my mistake as a lesson, YouTube. Please do not walk and text. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. 
Guys, another thing Cam forgot to tell you because he's not a great vlogger is that this place has got a massive line. It's a pretty popular place, and we got here, what, like 10 minutes before it opened? 10 yes, minutes. and we and, were seated right away. So. But there was already a line, though. We waited in line. Um, I'd like, say get here like 10, 15 minutes early. Yeah, and so they, most, actually, most restaurants here in Europe, they'll close for lunch and reopen for dinner. So this place closed at 2.30 and reopened at 6.45. We got here like 6.40, 6.35, and we got in line, and we waited about 10 minutes, and we were seated. So definitely recommend doing that, because check out the line. You guess the second part, you go higher or lower than that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was true. That yeah was so right. it's basically the same, just with like different kind of rules. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're hanging out with our boys from Denmark. <laughs> Show them off. Hello. 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 And we're drinking. We've been here for a couple hours, but uh, we're having fun. So we just left the bar with our uh, our Denmark friends that we met up with, and we bought a bottle of champagne, and we're about to pop it open for the final. What do we call them? Light flickering of the Eiffel Tower. Our final Eiffel Tower light flickering of the vacation. Quick, before it flickers, what was your favorite part of the vacation? Go. Ah, I, you will, well, it is in Paris. Oh, I don't know. Go. That's too hard. I know. There's so go. many good moments. I don't know. Uh, Bundy. Hey, we figured that. Bundy. Sip, 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 sip. Honestly, I think it was last night. We just sat here drinking champagne and like yeah. eating macaroons, watching the Eiffel Tower. That was really cool. fun. Cars vacation. This oh Eiffel God. Tower. Yep. Eiffel because, Tower. Well, the, the Eiffel Tower is second best to the Eiffel Tower. Made her parlay Francais. <laughs> and what? what and dinner tonight. Oh. Dinner? Yeah, that was it? really, really it good. Don't remind me. Ah. It is 59. Are you Get ready to pop tonight? it. Get ready to make a video it. Let me go behind the bench. How, do you, how just, much do you think you shook this carry in it? Not because really the other much. The one exploded last night. Pop it that way if you're gonna pop it. Yeah, because that's like a. Don't aim it. Wait, that wait, wait. As soon as it starts, as soon as it, it starts flicking, we'll tell you when. Turn towards us just a tad. There you go. Do I need to take this thing oh, off first? Yes, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Quick, 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 quick. Wait. As soon as it starts flickering, we'll yeah, let you know. Yeah, flickering. It's gonna explode. Be fine. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. Ready? It's starting. Wait. On, go. Go. Woo! Woo! Our final hurt. light flickering oh of the Eiffel God. Tower. And we all head back to Orlando tomorrow. Hey, Sad faces. Oh, God. Oh, okay, that one went up. Oh! Hey, that's a little drippage. Not bad. That's a little. Just a Gotta get the twinkle behind. Alright, go you. over that just in case. Cheers, everybody. So I totally forgot to record an outro to this video last night, so we are currently in the Paris airport. But what a fantastic trip, not only to Paris, but to Germany, to Disneyland Paris, and then to Paris. It was seriously one of the best trips I have ever been on, and I thank you guys so, so much for the support, because if you guys didn't support me, I wouldn't be able to go on such an amazing trip like this one now now we have many many more trips planned in the future but once again if you guys have not checked out any of these videos from our amazing trip go down below into the description and there will be a link to not only the europe videos but also the disneyland paris videos this was such a fantastic trip and i can go on and on and on and on about how much fun this trip was but once again thank you guys so much for all the love and support if you guys have not done so already make sure to give this video a big big thumbs up subscribe if you are new here and make sure to ring that bell to get notified whenever we post a new video peace out from europe and this amazing trip and we will see you back in orlando peace out